Good morning, and welcome back to Margin. This morning, we're going to talk about the recharge recap. So let's jump right into it. So in this theme, we have discussed the importance of rest, the importance of recharge, a little R and R, and finally getting some of that which all seems so foreign and far-fetched to so many Americans today. As a nation, we are taking less and less time to actually disconnect as we have set the cultural precedence of always being on, always being available, always being distracted and, and allowing that distraction to then steal our focus, steal our peace and our intentionality in life. Now, you may be wondering, why is he talking about the importance of recharge? Why did he use a theme to discuss resting, all the while this content is focused on personal finance? Well, a lack of diligence with your personal finances affects so many aspects of life, but a perpetual lack of rest can be greatly impactful as well. And so going through the process of figuring out how to best rest end up, ends up affecting so many other aspects of life, including your finances. So reminding you to plan for time away to unplug, to reflect, and to pivot if you need to is so important in this summer season. Now we have looked at the impact of burnout, how to identify burnout, how to prevent burnout, and the health effects of prolonged stress, how to know if you are actually feeling overwhelmed, uh, and, and also how to prevent overwhelm. So we've also looked at how I've faced burnout and, and how I've navigated that. We, had, we talked about the aspects of uh, vacation and the importance of taking a vacation, how I recommend that you make time to take a vacation or a staycation this summer. Now we've talked about all these components in order to motivate you to figure out a plan, to figure out a plan to get time away. Now all of these components affect your long-term contribution, your contribution to intentionally manage your expenses and grow your income. When we are stressed out, when we're burnt out or simply drained, we can feel cornered and we can have the tendency to then take less care of our health, not to you know focus on or pour into our relationships, or we end up spending money as a form of therapy and we justify it to ourselves. Now the health effects of this on a prolonged scale is caused by a lack of margin. You and I can't deny the importance of building margin as you learn the definition of what margin is. Building margin by resting, by unplugging, by building uh, a, a emergency fund for your finances and not living beyond your means are examples of this. Now we cannot just ignore the lack of margin and hope it goes away as this in turn affects our decision-making with our careers, with our finances, uh, amongst many other aspects. Now, resting is a basic need for how we function as humans. It is essential to us to be able to function at our highest capacity. And it is needed in order to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. So let me ask you a question. What is holding you back from getting a proper time of rest and recharge? Is it simply having too many commitments? Is it not being able to get those rearranged accordingly? Is it uh, you know the concern around letting certain people down or is it fear of you maybe losing your job? But actually jotting down what it is will be a first start in order to figure out what it is that's holding you back from that. Now, all of us have insecurities, but we cannot allow our insecurities about what others may think about us uh, or whether our jobs are secure or not uh, keep us 
from making sure that we make room, that we take care of ourselves and to be sure that we are available for the things that matter most in life to us. And so that's why going through this theme is so important is for, for you to really recognize where you're at in life right now and what action needs to change so that you can pivot. So my call to action today is to reflect on this theme, to reflect on where you're at in life and to look at your health, your relationships, your finances from a standpoint of how you may uh, be lacking in your ability to recharge and then figure out, okay, what's the area that is dominant? It's the area that I need to focus on, that I need to pivot. Now, this could be having your phone at the dinner table that you need to turn off your phone during time with family. It could be pre-scheduling a couple weeks of vacations, or it could be writing down your ideal life and then reflecting on a daily basis so that your daily decisions further emphasize and back up where you're trying to head. If this information is helpful to you, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're reminded to come back on a daily basis and improve in managing your personal finances. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.